What's up guys, this is going to be an updated review of Eye Launcher. I did a review back in 2009 but never posted to YouTube and decided to post it um, this year to my channel. So this, as you can see, is iOS 7 running on a Galaxy S3 with a cracked screen, but let's ignore that for now until I get it fixed at least. But as you can see, this is a full-fledged launcher for iOS lovers um, that either want a iOS theme or have just, you know, get, I, I don't know, if you want iOS, this is the app for you. Um, this particular app is called iLauncher, as you can see right here. Um, it's 217 on the Play Store, and basically it gives you an elegant, simplistic launcher that replicates iOS 7 to the T, just about, at least the launcher part. As you can see, all the shortcuts or uh, icons are just shortcuts to your actual stock default apps. Um, so there's no iOS 7 settings or, well there is a setting that looks kind of like it, but that's besides the point. Uh, your stock settings are still going to look like whatever your phone came with unless you like have a stock ROM or something. But as you can see here, um, if you download something, it'll automatically theme it. As you can see, I downloaded these and they look just like iPhone. As you can see, this is not an iPhone in any way, shape, or form. Um, so yeah guys i mean you can see this it just looks amazing i was so happy when um my friend decided to release this because you know ios 7 is different and i guess people like different as you can see even folders and folders pages and pages are even supported um as you can see i have places with for the game center i believe so it's pretty nice there um just tap out and the Transactions are so smooth. There are a few settings you can have within it. You can change the wallpaper from here um, You can change the logo for when you first started up, which I'm not gonna do because I like the logo Application you can hit allow shortcuts, which basically means um, Shortcuts like Bluetooth settings, which I don't like iPad mode is for bigger tablets um, that You know are bigger than you know the four inches or five inches I forget how big the Galaxy S3 screen is but bigger than this screen I guess um, and what that'll do is it'll stretch out the icons and make them really nice and elegant. I'll go ahead and put up a video I did um, for the original eye launcher. Um, and fifth row is like the iPhone 5 if you want that. And that play, you just hit the back button on your phone. And it'll say eye launchers are starting. And there you go. And I'll have a fifth row. One, two, three, four, five. And I can go and change that back just by tapping it and then hitting back. As you can see, everything is. There are a few bugs, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes you'll see uh, blank pages, but then it'll go uh, back in a few seconds. But there aren't many things to complain about this launcher. I mean, it's smooth. The animations are flawless. Or, uh, there's no lag whatsoever. Unless you have, like, have a moving wallpaper. But then again, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like with the moving wallpaper. Or live wallpaper, as many like to call it. Base beam is pretty nice. Go ahead and head back, and as you can see there, still no lag. Oh, looks like my camera's kind of going out of focus. Sorry about that. As you can see right there, it looks amazing. No lag whatsoever. I have some root apps right here. Um, but yeah, it's it's not much to uh, describe about this launcher. I mean, it's it works. It's iOS like. Um, I mean, you could just. Have fun just fooling your friends thinking, oh, I'm gonna watch on my Android. <laughs> and they might believe you. I wouldn't be surprised there are some people who actually believe you. But um, yeah, um, if you wanna change apps, you can actually say, for some reason, I wanted iBoost, which is, you can look that up if you want. Um, <laughs> you could set the app as something default. So say I wanted iBoost as stock. There you go, it's stock, and I can change the title to whatever I want. like so stocks and there you go it looks like the actual stock icon and at the home button you can see the little minimizes X X's up there and then it's the actual iBoost app so you can see that it's it's awesome I love it um, let's go ahead and you can unset it to completely uh, but the name will still be there and you can also hide apps just like an original eye launcher which is amazing um, so yeah guys, this is iLauncher, the iOS themed version. You guys can get this off the Play Store 
for 217 as I said before. Um, and you just support the developer if you can. If not, go ahead and download it. I don't care. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later.